Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Train Sim World 3. Today, oh hang on, what's, oh there's people walking past, that's why the camera's going funny. Uh, yes, today we are down at, uh, well we're down on the, uh, are we down at Raynham or Rochester? Raynham on the, uh, on the southeastern high speed line where we're in the brand new class 700 uh, we're in the 700 slash zero which is the RLU for really long unit okay yeah that's that's exactly not what it means uh, we do need to however unisolate that let's get the doors open on the right DPWS and AWS operational okay that's sounding pretty good so far i'm not entirely sure what to expect of this this unit is now i don't know why the camera keeps going funny we'll use those lights i can never remember which one it is i think they're the correct lights for uh, for the task in hand uh let's have a look at they yeah they're hang on that's that's dipped beams and then what's this other one have we got another right okay so right we'll we'll use the outside ones because it's daytime uh yeah this is 12 pound 99 and it is available, there's a link in the description, it's going to get you the 700 slash zero. Now this is quite a bit more money than the 700 for Train Sim Classic, uh, because that's currently retailing at about £5.99 and I don't think that's on offer, I think that's a standard price. Compared with an, uh, oh sorry, added with an Armstrong, Howard, Armstrong Powerhouse, I, just, I tell you my brain's gone to bits today coupled with an armstrong powerhouse enhancement pack for train sim classic you've got yourself a really really good train so this is obviously it's got a lot of big shoes to fill hasn't it let's uh, let's close the doors i would like some working screens i'm uh, i'm not gonna lie to you but hey ho right away we go into forward oh ah right okay so we've got the uh, the third rail sounds obviously Okay, are these the Armstrong Powerhouse sounds that they're using for this? I think they might be. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, yeah, I mean, it sounds like a 700. The cab does seem weirdly flat in comparison to the uh, the Trentum Classic one. I don't know if they've used the same cab or not. Um, but, I mean, to be fair, it's all there, isn't it? We've got everything down there. We've got our buttons and everything. Um, it'd be great if they'd have added in the guard mode to this. Because obviously we've just discovered guard mode haven't we on uh, on train sim class uh, not train sim classic on the uh, on the you know what i mean the flipping gloss up and abfield line i tell you i don't know where my brain is today it's just been one of those days where i've come home and i've just collapsed and been like oh there's a chinese on the way after this and i'm gonna treat myself uh, and uh, yeah yeah i'm off for a couple of days now so we might even get a live stream done though I can't promise uh, in fact actually no because I'm doing a bit of overtime uh, in the old work so yeah I don't think we'll have time for a live stream sorry guys I tell you bills, bills need to pay themselves somehow so we're uh, yeah the, the run sounds aren't particularly brilliant it does sound like we've got some looping sounds here have we got some absolutely fantastic Armstrong powerhouse sounds that the people who made the 700 haven't applied properly because you can guarantee that it won't be Armstrong Powerhouse that actually did the you know they'll have just provided the sounds if that is the case got some good runtime uh, sounds though some good run sounds let's have a nice and look at that that's that's lovely bit of that so this service is obviously bound for Luton oh oh flipping neck have we missed no we're uh, we're DSD? Why is it? I don't know. What's happened there then? That's a bizarre one. No idea. No idea. But uh, yeah, back on the move. Anyway, uh, coupled with the fact that uh, that obviously for Train Sim Classic, you've got a hell of a lot of really, really good bits to this uh, to Zero City Pack. To say this is more money, you're actually getting less for your money, I think, in the grand scheme of things. I think in Trends and Classic, it costs you a tiny bit more in total. I've not done the maths, to be honest with you folks. Uh, but yeah, you're paying a tiny bit more for the Trends and Classic. But then don't forget, you get your 717, your 700, your 707. Uh, so you get quite a lot in Southeastern and uh, Southwest Trains, Thameslink, all of the above. So you get quite a lot. This you're paying a little bit less, but then you don't even get a, a 700 slash one. 
which is the FLU full length unit. I mean, I always think it means something a little bit rude, like flipping long unit, delete as appropriate. Um, but yeah, so it's, you don't really, I mean, I'm, I'm willing to accept that the 12 cars probably don't come down here, that'll be why you don't get it included, but uh, you know, it's, you do feel like you get more for trains some classic. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't a bad drive. This is the first time I've driven it. It's not a bad drive at all, he says as he speeds into uh, Gillingham. I don't know, to be fair, actually, it's, uh... It's alright, we'll come hammering in. Thirty-five into a platforms, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure that's alright. I mean, that's a 12 car going the other way, isn't it? So, technically, we should probably be able to fit a 12 car down here. Oh, and when you get above a certain breaking point, you get that little... You get the little whistling. There we go. Into neutral. Doors released to the left. Can we get up? Can we stick our head out? No. Oh, we've used the cab door. Oh, I like that. You even have to push it like a proper seaman's cab door. That's awesome. Can we push it back again? No. Okay. That's awesome. Right, let's get that window up. No, not, not the door. The window. There we go. Oh, we do have door controls there. Oh, battery on. Flipping it. Don't turn the battery off. We'll be knackered. What have we got in here then? We've got a uh, nice little Thameslink interior. Oh, this is the first class. Of course, first class always seems to be declassified on Thameslink. I really don't understand it, but there we go. Anyway, we'll... Uh, oh, it's a push bar to open. That's odd, it's a physical door, unlike so many of the other Thameslink, uh, not Thameslink, DeZero, sorry, sets that I've ever worked. Uh, I know, like, on 185s, 350s, 450s, 444s, they're like slidey doors, aren't they? You'd have thought Siemens would have kept with the slidey door sort of uh, philosophy there, but no, nope, they've, uh, they've changed their mind. It's quite bright in this cab, isn't it? But then again, if you've been in one of them, they, they are quite sort of soulless and bright, aren't they? Don't get me wrong, I like a 700. I, I think they're pretty cracking units. They're not comfortable. But then they're not designed to be comfortable, are they? They're designed to move people. Oh, we've got AAI, an AI one there, look. Here we go, in. There we go. Next stop, Chatham. Just go for a bit of full power. And of course, don't forget, this is really going to bring this route alive, isn't it? I'm I'm not particularly happy, uh, dare I say, pleased with the fact that, come on, we've got London to Brighton, so why on earth can you not drive these things from East Croydon? They should have added that as well. It only comes with the South Eastern. It doesn't come with London to Brighton. I, I just think that's quite lazy. You know, you've got the route. Just, just add it in. Would it really have taken that much more? And that is a problem with that London to Brighton route because when you think about it Thameslink do play a massive massive part on that Brighton line they're a massive you know sort of gap where their trains should be so that would be brilliant if you did have the 700s on there it's such a shame that you've got the likes of Gatwick Express but you don't have the 700s yeah that's that's what I want to see maybe they'll bring it out as a free update down the line uh, but as far as I'm concerned uh, they haven't mentioned it Maybe you'll be able to tell me otherwise in the uh, in the comments section below. But yeah, I've not heard that they plan to do that. It just seems such a missed opportunity. There we go. Oh, look at that for a screenshot. That is lovely. Down to 30. Like that were almost perfect breaking, 27% there. Alright, it's a little bit quick, 31 in a 30. That'll be fine, I'm sure. 
it's it's really easy to drive. I'm not going to lie to you folks. It is really easy to drive. Like to the point of you could probably drive this with minimal route knowledge and just sort of have the hood off there. I'm not going to because you can guarantee that I'll make an absolute holics of the whole thing. But yeah, I'm I'm enjoying this. I mean, to be fair, was it always eleven pound ninety nine? Or oh, what's happened? Oh, that's some sort of disgusting motion blur. Can we turn that off? I, I seem to remember I turned that off. I don't know why you've turned yourself back on. Motion blur off. Ugh. Looks good on some games. This game is not one of them. And I don't suppose it really matters if we don't stop by the DOO cameras, but, uh, you know, because we've got driver-only operated screens on the side. There we go, get that open. If we, uh... But yeah, I, th I think it's a fairly decent looking model. What have we got in here? Can we can we nip in here? We can't on... Oh yeah, we can. So we've got some toilets, can't nip in the toilets. Oh, that's uh, one of those things. And of course, don't forget these are... It's a snake. Isn't it? You can see all the way down them. Other than obviously the little toilets. Getting a rat edit from crashing into these bars. Oh, there's a there's a poster. Oh, if I'd have known, I should have got out and dumped posters, shouldn't I? It's the thing about Trends in World that I really enjoy is fixing the posters. Hey dear. These must be quicker than the Electro Stars then, because we've absolutely rocketed down here. We seem to have so much standing time at stations. What have we got there? Dreading long lines, skip the queue with express cards. find this one a little bit of an odd line, you know, for Thameslink to come down, like to Raynham, to Luton. It just seems a bit of an odd service, doesn't it? Particularly given they've got so much coming down here that goes into the likes of, um, is it Victoria? Oh, hang on, yeah, put it in gear. I know it's not gear, but you know what I mean. I mean, they've got Victoria, they've got Charing Cross down here. I can never remember which one goes in where, but... Uh, but yeah, there's plenty of southeastern services along with the high speed to London. It just seems a bit of an odd one to Luton, doesn't it? Hey, do you know what? I'm happy with the textures there. We got those funny little flashing textures, didn't we, on the Hadfield and Glossop line. Whereas those, when we went in the tunnel, there was no flashing, there was no nothing. It was brilliant. Much nicer. Coming up to the exit of a tunnel here. Oh, we've got a couple of junction indicators on the top of this signal. Route indicators, junction indicators, feathers. I always think this bridge looks a little bit bare, doesn't it? It could do with a little bit of ballast or shrubbery, weeds, something like that, to make the, the land look like it was reclaiming the... Uh, or Mother Nature was reclaiming the railway, as it does in so many places, like they've done on the platform here. This is fantastic. This is a nice little bit of detailing. Don't know what that southeastern set's doing there. It's like he's broken down. Maybe he terminates at Rochester and he's gone into the sidings to turn round. I don't know. Oh, no, he's got his tail lights on, so who knows? Here we go. Is this Rochester? What have we got? Oh, a 465 coming the other way. So this has got practically everything that runs down here. We've got 465s, 375s, those javelin thingies, 395s. And then these now. So is that is that everything down here? I mean, flipping heck, it's a frequent service, isn't it? Considering up north we're used to one train an hour. I mean, admittedly, that is better stopping for the cameras. It 
So let's have a quick look at the map. Can we can we look at the map? There's the map. So yeah, we come after here, Strood, uh, and then I'm trying to think. Yes, yeah, so obviously we go down through Strood and Higham. So we turn right, don't we? I think you can carry on straight on after Rochester. Am I am I thinking of the right place here? Oh no, it's, is it Gravesend? Where you turn right? I'm not entirely sure, but you can continue forward, can't you, rather than turning right? Um, what's this down here? Have we got Ashford International on this? I didn't realise we had. Well, maybe we'll have to take a trip down there, see if we can sometime. It's been so long since I've driven this route, because... Again, it's it's not my local route, is it? I, I prefer I prefer something really busy to drive. And to be fair, since we've got all the stock here, uh, yeah. What we need, though, 700 slash 0 and 700 slash 1, as in the 8 cars and the 12 cars, for London to Brighton. Does seem trifly unfair that they've not included them. And I will moan about that, because they, they should have done that. Right, okie dokie, doors are closing. And away we go. Go for a bit of 50%. There we go, full power. It would be nice as well if the, you know, if you had the facility to put the pan up. I don't know if you do. If we, uh, what about this line, desolate line vault? I can never remember how you do it. No, see so the ATO, all of these are uh, ECTMS, all of that's blanked off. Um, DMI, drive machine interface. Ooh, that's all very posh, isn't it? I'm not going to lie to you, I'm sure it's over here somewhere. I'm not entirely sure how you put the pan up. How you switch between the two. Oh, there we go, power brake controller. No, that's not it, desk light. Um, help! Oh, there we go, mode change over. Right, okay, maybe you can do it. That's the bit I'm getting confused about. You can drive forward down there, can't you? I'm sure we've got that route on... Uh... Is there another line where you can drive down there? Have we driven that before? I knew it was strewed where we turned right. Where does that go then? That'll go down towards Dartford maybe? No, because we're going towards Dartford, aren't we? Oh, hang on. Let's get a bit of braking. What's this? Oh, it's a, uh, a Class 66. Two Class 66s, blummy number. DB Schenker uh, troublesome trucks behind it. You don't imagine seeing like it, it's going to sound like a really silly, th you know, thing to say, but you don't imagine seeing DB Schenker and 66s down on this network. You just imagine it to be passenger train, passenger train, passenger train, passenger train. It's a little bit weird seeing something like that. Oh, and it's even stopping as well. That's brilliant. And it takes a long time to stop. That's impressive. Do you know what? For all its faults, Trends in World, now that we're getting some, some proper stock for it, is actually a pretty good game. Yep, I said it. I know. Terrible, isn't it? But I, I do enjoy a little play of uh, Train Sim World every now and then. Don't get me wrong, if you're wanting a train simulator, I think that Train Sim Classic with all the ex, uh, expansion packs, enhancement packs, I think that is a lot better, Train Sim Classic, than this. I think you've got more routes, more traction to choose from, uh, your scenario making. But this is, you know, this is also enjoyable. Just because the other thing is better doesn't mean this is bad.
Go, go. It's a little bit late on the old uptake, isn't it? Right, let's, uh, so we're taking it steady and then after this it's Hyam. Stopping at all stations it looks like. Some of them miss out Hyam, don't they? Wow, there's another 66 on the back. Flipping out, it must be heavy, whatever they're, uh, what is it? A load of troublesome trucks full of lead? There we go, right, full power. It'll be the fastest we've been. Do you reckon we can get to 70 miles an hour in 2.4 miles? I reckon we can give it a jolly good go. God, we're flying along now, aren't we? 50 mile an hour. Feels a little bit faster during the tunnel. Oh, what's this? We've driven seven miles in the 700. Wow! It hardly feels an achievement. Seven miles, that's, that's not that far. <laughs> Why don't they have the achievements like drive 700 miles in the 707? That is an achievement in my mind. Hey, what's this? Oh, it's just the daylight. It's, yeah, there we go. Right, we're straight up to 70. Look at that by the end of the tunnel. Woof, I love that, how you can fly in it. Oh, hang on, we're back in the tunnel again. Flipping heck. I like it how it, it sort of adds that that period for your eyes to adjust. Right, half a mile, we're doing 70 mile an hour, so let's just... A little bit of 20, 23. Maybe a little bit more. We are hurtling towards that at quite a rate of knots, aren't we? Maybe a little bit more than that. We're going to come straight out into a platform, aren't we? There we go. Goodness me, right. A little bit more. 92% good grief. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> All it's meant is we're actually... Quite early. Brilliant. Take it out of gear. And pop the doors open. I wonder how come it's uh, it's gone so foggy all of a sudden. 750. Do they actually have the proper... U why does it sound like there's so many people here? Oh, 750 at both ends. What are we driving, actually? Oh, bounced off it. 41. There's so many, like, ambient people sounds. It sounds more like Leeds. 41 again. Love it. Let's have a... Look at that. A bit foggy. But hey-ho. Ambient, I'll call it.
where we're going next. Oh, Gravesend in 4.4 miles. Well, I think that's where we're going to end in Gravesend because uh, I, I only wanted it to be a half an hour video, to be honest with you, so it was like a little bite-sized look of, uh, you know, of the traction. Although, yeah, do of course let me know what you think in the comments section to this because I'm, I think it's pretty good. It's not as good as the Trendsim Classic with the Armstrong Powerhouse Enhancement Pack. It's far better than the Trendsim Classic version without the uh, Armstrong Powerhouse Enhancement Pack because that was an absolute joke. It was horrendous. But now that Armstrong Powerhouse have enhanced it, it's a lot better. Uh, but then again, as a stock product, this is head and shoulders above it. So yeah, uh, have you got both? Have you only got one? Have you got not got either? You know, did you just enjoy the video? Do let me know, won't you? Straight up to 70. got some uh, some wagons in it now that's good because again I'm sure that the first time we came down here we didn't have anything for those uh, those sidings and it looked a little bit bare nope Ooh, that's a noise and a half isn't it oh it goes right through you quite nice I do like the dynamic weather as well it's uh, yeah it makes a nice change doesn't it and there's some sort of rattle sound which I don't think we got on the standard like, is it the door it's something isn't it that's rattling in the background I love that as you're driving along because of course cabs do rattle there's always something that's just rattling away whether it be one of these flaming windows over there, it's either one of those windows, it's, uh, oh you can't pull that, that's a sticker on the wall by the looks of things, uh, or it's like the, the door from the cabin to the passenger saloon, there's always something, your driver's chair rocks a little bit, it's, uh, yeah, it's nice that it doesn't just sound like you're plodding along on perfectly welded rail, you can see the cab just shaking about a little bit, everything, you know, that it is good, I like what they've tried to do with Trenton World, I really do. I just think they need to do a little bit more work on it. There we go. 30 mile an hour coming up. Oh, double yellows. Right, okie dokie. I mean, we must be catching something if we're arriving into Gravesend with double yellows. I don't actually know where our... Oh, we are meant to carry on after this. We're meant to go all the way to Dartford. Right, okay. a single yellow. Oh, well, we'll pull into the station, won't we, if it's only 840 yards. That's actually pretty good timing for 30 minutes. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Isn't it the fog? 
Right, we'll just slow down because obviously we're coming up to a red, so we don't want to be flying through and uh, and risk not stopping at the red. Because that would be a disaster, wouldn't it? Right, well, that's where we're going to leave it for today. That's the reason we've got a red because there's a train coming in on the other platform. I do hope you... Uh, oh, it's a green now. I do hope you have enjoyed that. As I say, click the like button if you have. Do let me know what you think in the comments section. You might want to read other people's comments and see what they think. Uh, do check that out. There's a link in the description to where you can pick up this route and, of course, where you can pick up this brand new train on the Steam store. But, uh, yes... Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please don't hesitate to uh, to click the like button. Do subscribe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this now? Looking at that frequent down there. That was the chaps only just come in. How loud is that? Oh, my God. Get me ears blasted off. Yes, if you've enjoyed the video, don't hesitate to uh, subscribe as well. If, uh, if you like your train sim stuff, you want to see more then uh, subscribing is for you. Other than that, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.